friends, today I'm doing a video on how to edit um, on iMovie on your Mac as like a small YouTuber and I thought I would show you how with a video that I just filmed. So as you can see I'm fully in iMovie and I do filter my videos on a different app. It's called, I think it's called Pro Filter. It's by the people. I'll just like insert a picture here. It's really cool. Um, sometimes though it has trouble with picking up like if something's longer than 13 minutes so I'll just click into here and I'll click the little color thing and I'm gonna go to colors no match color and I'm gonna match the color in this clip so I don't really like that color so I'm gonna try and match it again and it's matching a little more closely, but I just want to make sure it matches perfectly and not so, like, ugly. Um, obviously, I'm trying to match the colors pretty well, but it's not going to match up perfectly because it is, um, a 13 minute or longer clip and it will edit on the app that I do for filtering it, so it's gonna look kind of a bit wonky and probably just not gonna match the colors on it as it's just gonna be easier. And I could probably, yeah, it's too dark. Take the white balance up. Cause this is white. It's starting to kind of match in a sense. Try and match it. I'm just not, I don't like the white balance on that, so I think I'm just gonna keep it the same. Yeah, enjoy my ugly face. So, um, this one's, this first fil clip is filtered because obviously it's shorter than 13 minutes. So I'm actually gonna cut out some stuff from this and kind of move it over because I don't really care for it. And, um, these are just overall really funny clips. Um, they're all pretty stupid. And they lapse in pretty well. So I think I'm just gonna keep the first one as is. This next one has some pretty ugly angles that I'm gonna kind of cut out. So I'm gonna have me walking to the bathroom and I'm gonna press split clip. And then after that, I'm gonna keep going until I get into the bathroom and have a place that I want to start. So I have the thumbs up, so I'm gonna split that there. I'm gonna cut that, so then it kind of aligns. So if we play it, and the volume's not up on that, so I'm just gonna hike it to around. It would let me. And, uh, let's go 251 and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so 251 isn't it. So we're gonna hike it to about 400 and see what happens. And to do so, I'm also gonna click the clip and go to volume. And. I'm gonna go to reduce background noise, which wherever the hell that is, that'd be great. I'm gonna just auto it and see what happens. And, um, Hi, I'm gonna go watch it. I use uh, Vantram, and it's better than Zupo. Just saying. And I get her online. Yeah, this is better than Zupo. So. Yeah, I just wore some big clippers. And then probably just wear like these four and five and stuff and just go on this thing. Um, I need to. So, yeah, obviously, I'm watching some of it just to kind of be able to watch it. Does that make sense? So, I watch it so I can be able to watch it. Um, it's just a bunch of me like washing my face and stuff because it's a nighttime routine. So, I'm gonna kind of skip through. Where I think another cut should be. Just 
probably about here. So I'm gonna split the clip where it is, and when I come back, I think that's around right there. So I'm gonna split the clip again, and I'm gonna delete what's in the middle because I no one really cares. So then, obviously, I like to ramble, so it's kind of what it is. I've cut it down from the 18 minute mark, which is pretty good. And obviously, I probably could speed this stuff up, but it's a lot of effort. So I'm just gonna kind of go through, and I make some pretty ugly faces throughout this, as you can see. So I'm gonna just keep splitting and cutting and splitting and cutting until I obviously see fit. So I'm gonna split the clip there, and then I'm gonna move until I'm probably right there. Split the clip, and if you end up splitting a clip and you don't like the way it like moves, you can always just go back on it, which is not that hard. It's somewhere probably. We're not. I'll probably read a book, and right now. I'm so right now it's kind of like mixing and stabilization so if i go to stabilizer and i do stabilize shaky mode it's going to analyze for the dominant motion which is my hand shaking because i use my phone to record usually and as it's stabilizing the shaky video, um, it obviously has, I think, like, five or six more minutes on the video itself. So it's going to analyze the dominant motion on all of them and then stabilize them. That was like really not attractive. So it's going to keep doing that. So I'm just going to kind of let it do it for a second. And as you can see in the corner, I have some, like, social medias and whatnot. And I'll probably, like, pop those throughout the video. Oh yeah, the girl who makes these super cool ass intros, I think her name is, her name is Taylor. And she does a great job, so uh, shout out Taylor. I think it's Taylor? Yeah, Taylor Lapin makes the outros that I have. And the intro templates are made by Brandy Violet, so just wanted to tell you that. They have great stuff that I'll probably link down below. So while it's doing that, I'm just gonna kind of, the stabilization went back. Um, I use this thing, I think, I believe, who did this? I also believe this is Brandy Violet, but, um, overall, I just really like these little subscribe buttons, because I'm a child. So this is a green blue screen of situation i move it right to the front of my video and i do green blue screen and then so while that's happening it will obviously go in and do its little thingy throughout the rest of the clip and then i just leave it because obviously it looks fine the way it is and so later on i'm going to pop in a social media handle one that i made and this is also just a green screen blue screen i can teach you guys how to make those it's actually pretty fun um yeah i just kind of put my socials in there so hopefully the stabilizing is done on the clip that we just cut so there's a lot of clips and i like to make mine big so i can see what's going on so people like them in smaller mode i just like them in a bigger mode so it's still analyzing for the dominant motion so while that's going on i'm just gonna kind of scroll it still hasn't even loaded in all the way which um big mood so i'm probably just gonna cut a bunch of other stuff while it's happening um i don't know if i can cut while it analyzes for dominant motion i've never really done that before but it's just a lot of, lot of me rambling and being stupid and unboxing some stuff for you guys because okay that just slid. unboxing stuff for you guys like my greek box that i got this month it's really cool check them out Ooh. Well, it's still analyzing from dominant motion. 
I think I'm just gonna let it keep analyzing for dominant motion for the rest of the night because I think it's gonna take a while. Which Loki kind of sucks. I really like this filter that I have. Oh, speaking of volume on things, I think I should knock that volume up. I really be smart, so I'm gonna put it at the 400 level as well and just kind of play it. I cannot hear a single word I'm saying in this. That's great. Oh, there we go. Because there was no volume, because I wasn't talking. So that's just chillin'. Um, it's a 17 minute video, so obviously it's gonna be long, 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 long. So I think this is all I can really do for right now. Obviously I can show you more if it, you know, stabilized. I really can't, and I'm really sorry about it, but... Yeah, so that's just gonna be the video I think that's gonna go up on my channel after this one. So, yeah. Um... Thanks for watching, and see you soon.